I'm Mike. I'm Jason. This is Snake Envy. So this is week one, day two of handling Jason's female bull snake. I was thinking on the way over here we might want to name her if she's going to be a little more prominent in the oh, video. Oh, she's already got a name. Does she have a name? What is yeah. it? Spice Cake. Spice Cake. <laughs> I didn't name it, but a friend of mine named her. <laughs> Perfect. So, it's so, stuck. So Spice Cake may end up being kind of a mascot here on the channel as we get her tamed down. So, um, now just to recap our last handling session, it went a lot better <laughs> than we thought it would. In fact, we feel like we've built her up a, much. Uh, a bit much. Mm -hmm. uh, So we'll see. I, every day is a new day, and we'll see what kind of mood she's in today. Um, but the thing we want to emphasize is that they're not as scary as we build them up to be either way. So right. even if you do get bitten, even if they are cranky, it's never as bad as you build it up in your mind. I've had a couple really bad bites, and they really weren't that bad. <laughs> like, um, I mean, I had little scratches scrapes for a week maybe. yeah I, I've had one snake in my life and I I own him currently my green tree python we've talked about him a little bit uh, his bites are not pleasant well wow. uh, they have some of the longest <laughs> teeth in the snake world and uh, a lot of blood it hurts <laughs> far more than getting bitten by these bull snakes yeah uh, but let's give this a go. I went first last time. You want to go first this week? Yep. Let's see how she is. We took the hide out. There she is. So she's moving around right away. Confident grab. Don't give her a chance to get all very, agitated. That was very easy with her. And that's, you know, if I would have went in a little bolder, she might have got spooked. But she didn't. And she pooped. On you? <laughs> no. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah, she pooped back here. Now, as we talked about in our first video introducing this, we always want to put her back on a high note. And the one thing that we'll keep reminding you of over the course of the weeks is it's less important how long the handling sessions are. It's all about how they end. So whether it's five minutes or 15 minutes, the key is that they end on a high note, you put them back on a high note, and she's learning that she'll be rewarded and put away if she's good. When we open the drawer this second time, let's maybe wait just a minute and see if she notices us and if she gets a little defensive. We'll uh, try out a few other things yeah. too and see. And we, yeah, we may show you confident grab on some others. Let's do it. Now she's back in this corner. She might. Let's give her just 30 seconds or so and see if she gets defensive here, having seen us. And because we're standing over her, we were talking in the first video that if you're stopping and starting and hesitating, that kind of gets them worked up. She's not really going into defensive mode at all. No, this is a different snake. This is not <laughs> the spice cake we usually right. see. So. so, same thing, confident grab, no stop and start. No one's going to believe us now, <laughs> but I promise you, we have lots of footage of this girl being very, very defensive. I, th I think it's important when you have them out that you're not holding them too tightly, like restraining them. Yeah. If they want to explore a little bit, let them do that. If you have them kind of crawl through your hands. That's good, but you just want to keep their weight supported, make them feel comfortable, don't make them feel like they're going to fall.
She gets a little jumpy when her nose bumps into me. But otherwise, she's doing really, really well. So week, <laughs> week one, day two. Week one, she's <laughs> ready for urban science. <laughs> yeah, she's... Uh, <laughs> she's not... She's not... You're all, vibes out. <laughs> you're all probably thinking this is a huge letdown. But, again, they're not as scary as they seem. Yeah. Alright, so since she's being good, we're going to go ahead and put her away. Maybe we'll try confident grab here on a couple others while we're filming. Same result. She's a little agitated. She's she's rattling her tail and stuff, but rattle the tail, she's lift, fine. lifting her head up a little. But she is totally fine. There we go. Now, if you're gonna approach her face first, you're probably gonna get some action, but like that's not how you would normally handle a snake, so. I don't really want to do that per se. No. She did musk me, so. So let's don't put her back right away. Let's only put her back once the hissing stops, once the tail rattling stops. Give her just a second to calm down. We mentioned before, but this is just like training a dog or a horse. You always want to positive reinforcement, always reward good behavior. The reward for these guys is being put back, and as long as she's hissing and carrying on, we're not going to put her back. She's really chilled a lot. She's still hissing a little slightly. Rattle on the tail. Give her about one more minute here and see if the tail rattle goes away. Yeah, she's good. We just don't want to send the message that when you're defensive it'll work and we won't handle you and we'll put you back. We want to send the message that we're not afraid of her either. She can't scare us into not being handled. Feels good now? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and put her back. While we have the hook and we're talking about using the hook, we're going to go ahead and try for another couple of snakes as well. One second to the bottom. Ah, we got one that's under the substrate. Hook works well in a in a situation like this. Ah, there we go. So now I can come in right behind the head, pick him up using the hook, support his weight, getting a good hiss, and I'll just give him a minute. The hook is supporting him well. I'm getting some tail rattle. I'm going to reposition the hook here right behind the head. You can see how I can get a little more distance between the head and my hands by using the hook. But now I'm going to go ahead and grab him. Still getting some hissing some tail rattling. This is more of what we thought we would get <laughs> from the other girl. But as you can see, no strikes, no bites. I'm careful not to make any sudden moves. He bumped right up against my thumb there but didn't bite. 
He's coiled, so if he wants to strike, very easy for him to do right now. That's the kind of body language you want to pay attention to. That S curve means he's ready to strike. And so if you're to move your hand suddenly in front of his face, you could get a strike pretty quickly. But I want to, you know, de-escalate things. So I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm going to keep my hand away from his face. And you can see that he relaxed again. Giving me a good sniff. I'm going to come in from behind. Now he's relaxed his posture a little bit. He's not coiled. But that body language is definitely something you want to pay attention to. When they're in that S-curve, they're ready to go. The fact that he's transitioned from hand to hand and that hasn't upset him. I'm going to come in under his head. That's not bothering him. That's all good signs. Still rattling his tail a little. Still hissing. So I don't want to put him back yet. Remember too, we want to support their weight fully. You don't want to have part of the snake dangling. That makes them feel uncomfortable. I'm going to reposition just so that I'm staying behind his head. Now the tail buzzing stopped. The hissing has stopped. It's a good time to put him away. Taming your bull snake. This is week three, day one. This week we're only going to have one day. I had a work commitment earlier in the week. We've had bad weather all week. So we weren't here one night that we normally would have been. So just one day of handling this week, but we're on week three. Um, you're still pretty shocked about how well this is going. Yeah, this thing's. <laughs> yeah. We should have done this a year ago. <laughs> well, yeah. But like we've said uh, earlier, I think this is still valuable for people to see that we build these things up in our minds, and we. This is well, what we even this built, is what happens we even a built lot. it up. Yeah. We built it up thinking yeah. this thing's gonna be because yeah. prior, you know. Well, we've never opened that tub without her yeah. giving us the business. Well, so. We've been dealing with her for a year and a half, and she's been like this. So. Yeah, <laughs> until ne now, like neither one of us was keen on on handling her, so that's why we decided to do this. Um, but for all of you out there who are nervous about the snake you have, particularly if it's a pit, this is quite often how it goes. You know, they're all bluff and no bite. Yeah, we may have to bring in. A king snake or something <laughs> that will tear us apart. So <laughs> they we attack us. We so. do have a friend who says he has a boa for us, so mm. we'll see if we'll go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, teeth. but let's see how it goes this week. Week three, day one. It's feeding day. She probably smells mice in here. Um, I'm not even going to use the hook. I'm just going to grab her. And yeah, she's great. <laughs> of course. And no rattling of the tail yet. No hissing. She's really getting used to this. So now, we are seeing improvement because yeah, Oh for sure. She's she, not even rattling her yeah, tail. Yeah, she usually at least tail rattles. Sometimes she gives us a hiss or two. Um, but this time nothing. Wow. But she's getting getting used to this. So yeah. She still tries to get away when we go in there yeah, to grab her. That's alright. That'll be another sign of improvement when she just lets us pick her up and there's no having to chase her down. Yeah, she's great. Wait. Trying to give a couple more a shot while we're at it? Yeah, I did feed the others. Oh, you did? But okay. we can, we'll test the waters. 
wanting food. She's probably going to think food. But there we go. So there's the head. And she ate, she ate a couple mice. Definitely saying leave me alone. I don't want to handle her yeah. a lot because I fed her. Yeah, we're not going to wait for her to calm down, these ones that have fed. But same thing, we just want to show you that despite all the bluff, we're not getting bitten. Let's see. <clears throat> And she ate too, so yeah, and Did nothing out of her, no mm -hmm. rattle, nothing. She's probably got food on her mind, even though she ate two mice. Yeah. All right, week five with taming down your bull snake. This is going to be the last week that we're going to film specifically us working with her because. She's already good. <laughs> she's, she's been fantastic. Um, it's still valuable for you guys because this is what happens. We build them up in our minds. We're certain that this isn't going to go well, and then they act fine. Um, so we're going to show you our final handling session with her on video. Just know we're going to keep handling her between now and spring because I still think it would be a really cool goal to be able to take her in the spring out on urban snakes and have strangers handling her. That would be kind of the ultimate test that, yes, we tamed her down completely and we're confident handing her to strangers. But this will be the, the final handling session. And then uh, we got a little surprise for you after we're done with that. So let's dive in. Now, this is feeding day, so there is the scent of prey in the room. Sometimes that gets them a little more worked up. Not always. But sometimes they have food on their mind and they might, you know, <laughs> strike first, ask questions later. But this is what she's been like for five weeks. <laughs> Just good as good. No, I'm not even getting a tail rattle. Yeah. Nothing. And, you know, what I'm sure everybody noticed just as we slid the tub out, we don't even get a defensive display from her anymore when we open the tub. She, she typically wants to go back. You know, she doesn't want to be handled, but we don't get her rising up and hissing at us. <laughs> So she's not bothered by us opening the tub all that much anymore either. So that's fantastic. So there you go. Five weeks, but it really it went pretty well right from the jump. Uh, but it can be done. Thanks. By the way, I forgot to give you a hard time about your hat. Are you? Uh, oh yeah. You plug in the Harbaugh hire here. <laughs> we got a coach. Jason's Chargers have a coach. <laughs> um, all right. So we mentioned we're we're kind of done with the bull snake in terms of formal handling sessions, but we'll keep handling her, and she'll probably be a a mascot for us as we're filming and whatnot throughout the winter. We just want to make sure she's really good for spring. But you have another snake that you kind of feel like it would serve us well to work with. So tell us about her. Um, we have this adult house snake and um, they're generally pretty decent. They can be a little wiry, a little quick. They do have bigger teeth than most, like, well, than colubrids, I think. Um, it's funny, when they're small, their bites are nothing. But as they get bigger, they're definitely a little more, yeah, without a doubt. So she did eat today. We're not going to handle her long, but we want to introduce you to her. And then she's going to be our next little taming project here. And we'll see if she's a dud like the bull snake was, well, or a good <laughs> if she's a little fiery and gives us some issues. So let's see how it goes for this first go. I 
I mean, she's never really bit. Of course, I get this wire in my way. And I forgot to wash my hands after handling mice, so this is fun. Oh, that's true. You've been feeding, <laughs> you've been feeding snakes. I didn't so. think about it. So I'm a, I'm a little extra cautious. And she did eat uh, a mouse. So. But she's doing good. No, I never. She's never been like aggressive, but they do have a strong feed response. They definitely do. And so. They are. For those of you that aren't familiar with African house snakes, they are so much fun to watch eat. Very aggressive eaters. All right, so there's our introduction. We'll uh, next go around. We'll see if she's uh, maybe a little feistier next time. We may have to go outside of your room to find us one to work with. We'll see. Yep. <laughs>